Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and welcome to my first video on macOS Sierra. So today I'm going to talk about managing storage and in case you didn't know, macOS comes with loads of features which can help you uh, increase your storage and uh, you know by removing sort of large files and files which haven't been used frequently and any large junk files which may have accumulated up on your disk uh, over time. So I'm going to show you how you can use these features and to access them first of all you're going to want to go to the Apple menu in the top right hand corner and click about this Mac and what you're going to want to do from there is go to storage and I've got two disks here at the moment, I've got Macintosh HD and MacBook Air, don't worry about that uh, you'll most likely just have one drive uh, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to look for the button that says manage and you're going to click on that and what this is, what this is going to do is going to open up the uh, sort of new window which uh, helps you to uh, you know reduce the amount of storage being taken up so in the sidebar here you can see it's just scanning my system uh, with this little loading icon um, in the sidebar you've got all the different subcategories that it can scan and help you with so I'll take a look at those afterwards but first we're going to start the recommendations so this is the section which will give you some basic tips on how you can uh, generally rest um, restore some space so first of all, you've got store in iCloud. Now I've already uh, done this when I set up uh, macOS Sierra, and you'll probably get prompted uh, in one of the later stages of the setup uh, to turn this on. This is store in iCloud. So what this will do is basically any folder or files on in in your documents folder. So just in your normal documents folder in Finder, or on your desktop, will get put into iCloud Drive. So if I went and dragged, uh, say, a Pages file onto my desktop over here, it would upload to iCloud Drive and it wouldn't store it locally on the on the Mac. So basically taking up less space. So instead of storing everything on your uh, Mac, it will store it in iCloud and obviously then it's accessible on all your devices. Now I'll probably show this in a later video, but uh, from iOS 10 you can now actually go into iCloud Drive and there's a new Desktop and Documents folder which you can use to access everything from your desktop on your Mac and your obviously your documents folder. Now this also does mean that desktops are synced across Macs. So if you have different Macs, say you've got an iMac and a MacBook, and you have many files that you store on your desktop and your documents folder, what it will automatically do is it will keep these uh, your desktops and your documents folder in sync across your Mac. So if you say you're at work and someone airdrops you a document and you add it to your desktop when you get home that file will be on your desktop on your iMac so that's a nice feature to have obviously I've only got one Mac so I can't demo that uh, in a video but obviously if you've got multiple Macs that will be very useful underneath that we've got optimized storage now if I click on what it's uh, on the button next to it it's going to give me a few couple of options so it's going to say uh, it's asking me do you want to optimize storage and I'll just read this out for you in case you can't see it. iTunes movies and TV shows that you've already watched uh, will be automatically removed and only recent email attachments will be kept on the Mac. You can download all movies, TV shows and email attachments again at any time. So what this is saying is any uh, large like files like iTunes uh, movies and TV shows will um, be automatically removed and uh, you know to put back into the cloud. Uh, once you've watched them and only recent email attachments will stay on so what I can do is I can actually choose optimize storage down here and I can hit uh, which will generalize most things uh, and I've got optimized mail storage so this will send up uh, old attachments into the cloud so if I just hit optimize it's just going to uh, optimize it um, and that's that bit's done now I can go ahead and click optimize again and this time it's asking me about iTunes movies and TV shows. If I hit optimize, it will do that. So there's just a few options there, which will just uh, scan and just see which files you've used, uh, you know, quite a while ago. Uh, you can already see at the top my storage is sort of going up because I am optimizing it as I go. So next up, we've got erase trust automatically, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if I turn this on, basically every uh, 30 days, uh, anything that's in the trash will automatically be cleared so it, uh, you won't have to uh, manually go in and it won't take up fi uh, file space and the last option in this recommendations pane is reduce clutter so what it will do is if I click on that, what it will do is open your 
documents you know you're just it will just scan your drive for any large files i think I've, i might be able to click on it actually here we go so i've got a couple of large files i've got a a uh, disk image over here which is taking up a fair amount of uh, you know, space and I've got these two which are also taking up a amount of space so these are the large files, the largest kind of files on my hard drive so these are the files which it's decided uh, that are the largest and it's going to ask me if I want to keep them on here or remove them so it does give you that option so that's the recommendations uh, page of the you know optimization section so you just get a few options if you just want to let the Mac do most of the work. However, if you want to carry on doing more work, then what you can do, you can go to this next section, which is applications. So what this is, it just shows you all the installed applications that you've installed from external sources, not the ones that come with your Mac. And you can just go in and you can click on one. You can delete it using this cross button. You can search uh, for it. Or you can click at the top here to open applications and go to your applications folder and clear applications out through that. Next up we can document, but again, this is the same pain that we came up earlier uh, when we went into review files. And it will just show, this time it will just show you all your documents. So as you can see here, uh, I've got all my documents here and the large ones are displayed and I can get rid of them if I want to. iBooks I'm not going to go into because it's got pr private stuff. Same thing as with the documents, you can go and manually decide which ones you want to keep and which ones you don't. iCloud Drive is next. And I'm not going to go into that either because that has got a lot of personal things. Uh, but it does say here 1.2 gigabytes, so I can go and manually decide what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of to save space. iOS files. Now this I can go into. Now this is things like iPhone and iPad and other iOS device backups that you've done to your Mac through iTunes. And you've, I've also got a, I think this is a contact, over here, which obviously is taking on quite a lot of space. So I've got to uh, go through that and see what that's all about. But you can see we've got all these different uh, items which are from I've pulled over from iOS devices when you're syncing, or iOS files that have accumulated on your Mac, and the system's trying to tell you these files may be quite large and you might want to get rid of them. Next, again, I'm not going to go into that. That's mail. That's just all your attachments. So it's just going to show you all your mail attachments, and you can choose which one to keep and which one do you want to discard. And we've got trash, which obviously I have nothing in it because I emptied the trash uh, just a while ago. And that will just display your trash and you can just uh, see which bits you want to keep. Uh, next system, uh, this seems to be greyed out but I'm guessing this would just show you all the system cache files which you may want to get rid of. Obviously you, if you're not uh, too confident with this you probably don't want to go into the system and start deleting stuff out. In case you make a mistake and delete something that's important which obviously you don't want to do. But yeah that's essentially uh, the storage options in macOS Sierra. So what Apple are aiming to do here is to uh, help you get rid of duplicate files and help you to uh, clear up some space on your Mac to avoid that pop-up notification that comes if you are running out of storage on your Mac. And I think at WWDC they demoed how a Mac that had 50 gigabytes of space free uh, before performing all of these, uh, you know, these optimization uh, procedures. Um, afterwards that, that Mac had 250 gigabytes free so obviously if you do have a lot of stuff on your Mac and you don't regularly go in and clean it out then you will probably gain a lot of space obviously I do tend to uh, clean my Mac and make sure it's keep it, keep it clean because I store uh, everything in iCloud I don't really use my documents folder and I'll, I never really like keeping stuff on the desktop I like to keep that clean but if you're someone obviously who uses uh, their Mac a lot and they uh, don't really have the time to go through and clear things out then this will be great for you uh, because obviously it will help you keep some space down uh, whilst not having to uh, spend time going through and manually deleting everything but anyway that's it for this video if you have any questions or comments then do leave them in the comments section of the video don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video